welcome. This is TBI Journey, where in 2015, I received a brain injury, and this is step-by-step step, how I put my life back together. Hello, I am TBI Journey, and today is Fact Friday, and in succession with our amazing brain videos, we're now moving into the proprietal lobe, which is the middle of the brain. Its primary function is sensory. Stay tuned for more facts right after this. Please and thank you. Check my playlists for all of the amazing brain videos that I have posted and are coming up. Today's video is one of the brain videos that I've been promising. And we're going to move on to the proprietal lobe, which is right here. And we're going to continue to move forward with the series the way that I intended it to be. So these upcoming Fact Friday videos are not going to be the same as the first video that I put out. And hopefully these Fact Friday brain videos are a little bit more useful than the original plan or that first video. However you choose to look at it, it still works. So, in succession, the next one is the proprietal lobe. I'm going to try that one more time. The proprietal lobe. And I'm going to tell you straight up, I struggled a lot too. I had to actually break it down. So what's the definition of a proprietal lobe? It's the proprietal lobe. It is a major lobe that is located at the top middle section of the brain or the upper back part of the skull. So if you're looking at the brain, you're moving this direction. So it's like the middle part of the brain. The main function of the proprietal lobe. Touch, pain, sensory, auditory, temperature, body position, numbers, and manipulating objects. Sensory. I would not necessarily say that the proprietal lobe includes vision because there is literally an entire lobe dedicated to that, but it does have a lot of the five senses located within the proprietal lobe. So you have basically the four senses that include that don't include sight. The proprietal lobe has four substructures. The substructures I would incredibly recommend doing a Google search of those particular substructures because I'm not medically trained, nor do I hold a medical degree. I would incredibly recommend just doing a Google search on that. There's a lot of those substructures that are beyond my ability to pronounce. So I would recommend going on a Google search and looking up those for substructures. Um, 
I might also be able to post a link in the description of at least one site that might contain that. You'll have to check there after the video. Things that are contained within the proprietal lobe are analyzing. So these are the things that I genuinely wanted to learn going through the different sections of the brain is where this stuff was located. So my analytical part is located in the proprietal lobe. I love analyzing things and learning things. Recognizing. Recognizing. So understanding the information that's coming into you. Recognizing kind of goes, if I remember right, it goes all directions. So recognizing the fact that I'm in the laundry room and recognizing when my roommate comes in so I can understand that that's my roommate. Um, recognizing words. If I remember right, it, it goes all directions. Movement. Movement um, is really, really kind of important to a lot of us who have a TBI because when that particular part of the brain gets weak, I don't know if that's a good word for it. Let's hope. Um, it, it makes it difficult for you to be able to space yourself properly within this world and to move around appropriately within it. I have this image inside of my head of being in New York and you're walking up to the crosswalk and you're having a hard time staying within the little bubble as you're you're there because you have the difficulties with the movement i occasionally have that problem and i think that's the reason that was the image that came to mind spelling is located in the proprietal lobe um I would also say the recognition of words because language is also part of the proprietal lobe. Integrating information from different modalities is also located in the proprietal lobe. So for the next part of the video, we're going to go ahead and do some of what I did before where I flash words and then I give a definition and we'll be back when that's complete. Visuospatial. Function refers to cognitive processes necessary to identify, integrate, and analyze space. Now that that's complete, I will be doing a fifth video that I've decided I'm going to do a fifth video of um, some of the stuff that I didn't include. So one of the things that I didn't include in the video is identifying the damaged area. I will also do the prefrontal cortex, even though I didn't um, appropriately do that one, I'll include the prefrontal cortex within that fifth video of what damage looks like and a few other things that I will have in addition to that particular video. In the meantime, this has been Fact Friday the proprietal lobe, and everybody, please have a safe and wonderful weekend. Bye!
and see if I can actually stay within. Ah, okay. Anyways, moving forward. <laughs> I'm being goofy. Sorry about that. It itched. Sometimes it happens. <laughs> um, 